for Dan Dan. Meanwhile, what is one year old dog in human years? Oh my god. Why are they so big? <laughs> Dan Dan. Yeah. Do you think more people die in a single year from coconuts or sharks? You know, I actually know the fact that people don't actually die from sharks. Like, not too many people. Oh. So I would say, I'll go with coconut. You're gonna go with coconut? So I learned this thing on TikTok from people that don't like drinking coke or they're trying to cut out coke in their life Did you guys know that I was bullied into liking coke? I used to hate coke growing up because I thought that it was nasty My mom didn't let me drink coke these non-asian kids would just have rows and rows of sodas in their fridge And I thought it was the most luxurious American thing that I should aspire to be and I used to force myself to down the sodas with them Because I didn't want to seem like a loser that never drank soda. So I literally tricked myself I peer pressured my own brain no. into becoming addicted to soda which took me years to cut out of my life I am almost pretty much soda free most of the time. Do you guys know what this is first of all? This is balsamic, balsamic vinegar. vinegar Isn't that just vinegar? It's straight vinegar and this girl on TikTok said if you mix vinegar and sparkling water, it tastes like a Coke. What? No way. I forgot where she learned it. I think a Pilates instructor always drinks it like this every single day. Oh, it does look like Coke. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just straight vinegar. Can you just try it? Oh, oh, there's some Cokeness to it. Do you taste that? It's giving Coke though, no? Little bit. Kinda sweet, I like it. Yeah. I wish you guys could see behind the camera right now because there's literally just two bros sharing a <laughs> glass of fake coke going no, like right in each other's breath. faces like <laughs> Anyway, coconuts kill more people by dropping from the trees. Yeah, not even a coconut allergy, bruh, from dropping from the trees. And they hit their head? Yeah, technically. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. That's so tragic. <laughs> there was a guy that was sleeping underneath a coconut tree. He thought that it was be relaxing. He's like, beach vacation, ooh, on the sand, underneath a coconut tree. And a coconut came and bonked him on the head and he died. In Hawaii, Brett. two people were injured. I believe one of them passed because 100 pounds of coconuts fell from a coconut, one coconut tree. What? One coconut tree. Pounds? Yeah. Anyway, you know what else drops? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think I'm so used to Casetify because I haven't told Dan Dan yet what this whole video is or what we've done, but let's just say we've been Bob the Buildering this weekend. We've been Bob the Buildering real hard. And I'm so used to Casetify and expecting things to be high quality and durable. So when we were building, it felt like the most impossible feat to put things together and it just wasn't sturdy and I was so stressed. Listen, if you've never had a case for my phone case, maybe it's time to spoil yourself. I've been spoiled. I have been using their phone cases for years now and every time I upgrade my phone, I upgrade my phone case. I love their new impact and ultra impact phone cases. They're super sturdy. I'm a clumsy girl. These phone cases are drop test approved for 6.6 .6 feet and 9.8 feet. I mean, this is insane. If you guys are at the airport traveling this summer, you drop it. You drop it down the... Well, you know what? I don't know if you'll find it. But if you drop it down a couple steps, you're gonna be fine. If you drop it on the concrete, you're gonna be fine. They're made out of 65% recycled and plant-based material, and all the packaging that they're shipped in are 100% recyclable, made with non-toxic soy ink. I think it's so cool that they're like always innovating their packaging and always innovating how recyclable things are. Casetify phone cases come in endless print options. They have phone cases that have been collaborated with, with small designers to even some of the big names in K-pop. You can even customize your case with your favorite font design or your layout or maybe you can do your monogram. So you can truly get a fully custom phone case or just pick from one of their thousands of beautiful designs which I love like every single one of them. And the phone cases are also wireless charging and 5G compatible. They even have Defensify on their cases which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria on your phone. And the cases are non-toxic and non-hazardous. So you're like Stephanie, what about all your old phone cases? Hmm? Casetify actually has a really cool zero waste mission. So they'll take your old phone cases and recycle them, transform them into brand new Casetify phone cases. So make sure to check out Casetify linked in the description or go to casetify.com slash mango or use code 15mango, 15mango, to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. And we can match. That's casetify.com slash mango. Thank you Casetify for sponsoring today's video. And 
Yeah, let's get into it. I told him to put one of these on because why not? And now we look like we're going to school. Best bag ever, for real. But you used it for like 0.2 seconds. But I like it. <laughs> but truly, best bag ever. Are you kidding? Grandpa drew this. Speaking of grandpa, I have something to surprise you. Okay. Let's come over here. Okay, and then close your eyes before you walk in. <laughs> walk in. Hold on. Don't open them. Okay. Don't open them. Okay. Keep walking. Keep walking. Yeah. Okay, you can look now. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Where did you make this? What do you think? What do you think? Wait, this is a uh, rainbow lighthouse. Rainbow lighthouse. What do you think we're gonna be doing in there? Put plants. No, we're gonna be filming a bug. In there? In there. No way. Yeah, it's got an AC and everything. Let me show you guys how we made it. Okay, so we're just getting the plants in. These are from Grandpa Mango's yard. I wonder if this is edible. I'm just asking if everything is edible. This one doesn't look that edible. I think these are some sort of vegetables that are in the soil. Wow, Stephanie, you are so knowledgeable. You are ready to have a garden. Not only am I a shitty gardener, but I am also a shitty videographer. Hello. Wow, look at you, garden Hello. man. It's <laughs> so heavy. Is this one edible? Uh, for sure, yeah. That doesn't look edible. <laughs> None of these are edible. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Grandpa Mango used to make snake plants, or he does make snake plants, and I used to purchase these on like those websites that sell the plants for a bajillion dollars. At this point, I think we're starting a bunker. This is a vegetable. Wow. All vegetables. Wow. <laughs> this is a beautiful... Oh, this one's like a des. They call this the desert rose. Oh, I heard you guys stole it from Florida. Yeah, we stole it. Not stole it. We oh, bought okay. it. So he also said that the more we eat these, the more that they will grow, and the that's... more we pick on the leaves, the more it will grow. That's my dream. That you can eat too. Wow. This is ginseng. Ah, yeah. That's ginseng. Ginseng. I know it's not, really but right now. let me tell you, it's a hot box in there. It's a sauna. A few moments later. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes, it's a sauna. End of flashback. Are you ready? Wait, wait. When you walk in, you'll feel the AC. No way. Yeah, go in. No, go in. Come on. Why would I lie to you? I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> that was the lamest joke I've ever just, played just on actually, anyone. Oh, don't touch that. Oh, oh. Wait, but you look so cool in here. You look like you're in a K-pop music video. Oh, maybe I should take a picture here. What is that? Checking oh. my phone. Who's <laughs> like laughing? Casual. That's a casual. Are you walking? Yes. I like it. I like it. Can I tell them the truth? This was his idea. This was his dumb idea. He said he was gonna make a, a greenhouse. I was like, ooh, I like it. But only if we can put some vegetables in there that I can eat. Like, imagine before a mukbang, I come down here, I pick up some green onions, mm -hmm. I chop them. Oh my god, it's like Lisa Chi put Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> okay, so that was my vision. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We ordered this greenhouse. It's quite expensive. It was not cheap. We called Grandma. We say, can you bring some plants? And he said, yeah, you can't put them in there. Why not? They're gonna die. It's too hot. It's, it's too a sauna. It's, it's a waste. Wait, so what are you gonna do? It's not a waste. Said, uh, you can put them in there for the video and then take them right back out. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> but he said in the winter, they will thrive. In the winter is awesome. They will thrive. So in yeah. the fall, winter, thrive. So we're just a couple months early. Oh. But these though, then, then you see these? Yeah. Apparently all these are veggies you can eat. You know, when you need groceries, I don't just come over. Whole Foods. Yeah. Just come over, I'm yeah. I'm going to uh, Bismarck. Life. Why are they so big? I thought that was cockroach. They're on cocaine here. <laughs> you cut your legs. Here's what we gotta do. Remember that plant paste that we went to Den Den? We gotta go there and pick some vegetables. What kind of veggies do you like, huh? A cucumber. Cucumber, what else? You can't you can't grow cucumber. Nuna got you, you know what I mean? Tomato, I got you. What about like a whole cabbage? Give me something harder. A watermelon? Wait, I watermelon got it. is a vegetable? No. Wow, look at those rain boots. Look at those muscular legs. Do you skip leg day? Never. I wanted to get some aesthetic 
wood shelves. Grandpa said no. These are more practical. It's fine. Here comes the plan. First plan. Whoa! This feels like a fake life. This feels like those shows where they have wow. a garden. It doesn't even look real. Does it look real? Imagine we have a chopping board section right here. I just hose it down. And eat it. And chop here. Uh -huh. In the winter, I'm totally gonna do a mukbang in here. Oh, okay, so this one can actually live in the sauna because it's called the Desert Rose. It's from Florida. What's the temperature today? Like 270? <laughs> Jesus. It feels like I'm in Arizona. 93! Meanwhile, herbs. Then then pick the basil, guys. Then then pick the basil. Jalapeno and habanero. habanero. Oh, wow. Habanero. I love it. All right, let's move the cart. Let's grab one of each. Red grape, Dan Dan. You like red grape? Tomatoes? Let's get it. There you go, Dan Dan. Let's go. These are peppers. Peppers. Okay. Let's okay. go, peppers. Pepper. Oh, we need some jugs. We need a big jug. Made in USA. Okay. We gotta buy it. We gotta buy it. That is the biggest plant I've ever seen indoors. Bigger than oh, your face, God. babe. Oh my God. Listen, I don't want to hear it. I can already feel it from behind me. So in China, I used to have to walk to school. Uh, for one hour in this weather and when I got to school I was dripping in sweat and I had to take off my shirt and bring it and, and then put it back on and dry in the sun. But when I go walk oh, home, okay. <laughs> you know your book book back, the straps? <laughs> Completely soaked and then usually because when you sweat there's salt. So because the strap is right here, you see two white lines because the sodium. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got one tomato, one pepper, and like a basil leaf. What kind of recipe yeah, can you make with more. that? While he gets the vegetables, I think we are going to... I'm actually gonna look for vegetables myself. 12 seconds later. Wow, what is that? This herbs? is like herb, herb oh. pl platter. It's like coming it's out like of... It's like a salad. It's a salad. That is just so cute. Don't, don't grab it by the cacti. Aloe vera is great. Why is aloe vera great? Like you can use it for uh, tea. Yeah. It's good for skin care. Oh yes. And then even like let's say you get burned and stuff, you can also use aloe vera to apply it. Ah. It's like really versatile. Should we get this? Oh wow, that's $120. Yeah. Well oh, that's beautiful. Then then you know what's really cute? Patio furniture. Meeting. To be fair, yeah. we are in the market for some new patio furniture. Yo. It's a nice cactus. You should. Just relaxed. He's looking for us, he's looking for us. Uh, <laughs> he's so <laughs> We were looking for succulents. Yes. It feels reaction. so good, no? Okay. Nothing else? No. Oh. So hot. Mingo. <laughs> Welcome to the garden. Oh, Tiger. <laughs> Hello. Guys. Yo. I've actually been looking for an opportunity to wear these. Oh my god. Why do I look like a middle-aged woman in this? Uh, you, you do. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna go back to my original style because I thought that I would try something a little bit classier, a little bit older. I just feel like this is the vibe. This is like me when I had extensions. <laughs> this is called a hot red cherry. It's cherry. Cherry, wow. Cherries. That's cherry. This one, peppers. California peppers. Imagine this, right? I'm making a lamian. And you guys are like, oh my god, do you guys have any jalapenos to top it with? And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I go into the greenhouse. <laughs> Basil for the pastas. Wow. It's so big. Is it not beautiful? And there's already tomatoes on here. So the problem with oh, this, honey, though, yeah. it needs like a thing to climb onto. Yeah, it can climb on you, it can climb on me, it can climb. <laughs> this is a salad. This is a salad. A salad. I feel like this is not basil. Is this basil? I feel like this is mint. Yes. It's mint? Oh. And then this is 
time, I think. Time? No. Oof. Wait, this is time. Is it fennel? No, this is time. <laughs> this is time? You have oh, so many. We're so dumb. <laughs> what the f is that? Is it, is it just decor <laughs> for your salad? Bro, is Mango farting or what? Oh, yeah. Jesus I thought it was the earth. <laughs> she thought it was the earth. Oh, yeah, she farted. I really love aloe vera. Tiffany used to eat aloe vera for mukbang. Tiffany used to eat aloe vera for mukbang. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm mean Stephanie. Oh, it's oh, oh, <laughs> I never call your name, okay? <laughs> so silly. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Boom. Ooh, Wait, that's all you had to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too good. That's too good. <laughs> yeah, I measured it, honey. You're making planting seeds to me. Okay, I'm okay. gonna. So I think they don't need a lot of water, but I'm just gonna give them some because um today you're a water daddy. Yeah. All those are really strong. They will always survive. Guys, watch next week, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we've decided that we're gonna wait a few hours before the heat calms down because it is so freaking hot outside. It's 93 degrees. The next morning. Good morning, good morning. It's the next day. You're probably wondering why. What happened? Let me tell you. Um I <laughs> I almost died yesterday. This Atlanta heat is something that I have never experienced in my entire freaking life before. That's not true, I grew up here, but I guess my brain just forgot. This was the most hot, humid, it was over 90 degrees. With the humidity, it felt like a strangulation of 100 degrees just shoved down my throat. So, uh, welcome. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm a garden girl. I have a garden girl outfit but I'm actually not gonna be going outside because we got an urgent call from Grandpa Mango and he said, I'm gonna come pick up the plants. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean you're gonna come pick up the plants? And he's like, any plant that enters your house is dead. So here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna take all the plants, he's gonna harvest them, grow them, and then bring them back when they're ready to be plucked. Of like, there's vegetables, there's cucumbers coming out, there's tomatoes growing, and he said, just let me do it. Don't be killing no more plants. He stopped by yesterday and he actually dropped off I saw this show and uh, I think they do it in China and Korea, but they bring celebrities' refrigerators to the studio. They do like a fridge tour, but it's not like a YouTuber fridge tour where everything is color coordinated, everything is in those like plastic bins, pre-washed fruit. No, like everything's expired. And I was like, wait, that sounds like something I could do. <laughs> Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I can't show it to you now, but like this is a good sneak peek. It's really horrendous in here. So this, is what I'm in here for. So these are the pots, uh, the, the four pots that he brought over. These are the veggies that they grew at home. You know, nobody tells me the name of these veggies. I could be poisoned by my in-laws. When you cook it, I think the, the, the juice is red. It's almost like purple. I don't know. This just is like, like a it. leaf off of a plant. <laughs> it tastes like I went outside. I laid on all fours and I just <laughs> on the grass. It tastes like grass. Like a lava. Okay, grass. try this one. Try this. Oh, this looks like um spinach. Spinach. I love spinach cheddar. It's spinach, but a little soily. <laughs> <laughs> this is what like true spinach is supposed to taste like. But we have genetically modified spinach to taste better in America. Ooh, but kind of okra. <laughs> it's a little slimy. <laughs> It tastes like I just also shoveled in a handful of soil. Let's get to cooking, bad boys. Hello. Water. Oh. Drizzle of oil. Oh. And then drizzle of oil here too. Do you know what you're doing, or are you just acting? Yeah, like you're just doing? cooking, like you know. I realize that anytime he cooks, it's almost always the walk motion. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do it. So are these healthy? Uh, for very. Me? According okay. to my mom, like everything we eat is crap. Only the ones that grew, they grew in their garden are the best, freshest, most nutritious. But, but I eat a lot of veggies. No, no, no. They, she believes everything else we eat is full of um, chemicals and... I eat! I know. Don't argue <laughs> with my mom. Take a whiff. I don't smell anything. Okay. A few moments later... Already? That's yep. it? And I yep. just eat it like that? Yep. Just... So many leaves. Is this how they eat it? They just... They do it a little bit better. Turns out we do not have oyster sauce, so we're just adding hoisin sauce. A tiny bit. I guess this is my garden girl life now. I'm just... We're just eating plants. <laughs> Straight up plants. The spinach leaves. 
Is this spinach? I don't know, it smells a little bitter. Okay, dipped into the hoisin. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. It's kind of slimy. The stems feel slimy. I like it though. I love okra. It's the same slimy texture as okra. Turns out they call us and they're like, oh wait, we accidentally sent you elephant ear. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Is this weird? Kind of a nutty flavor, but also slimy stems. Are slimy stems a good sign of no chemicals? Aggressive, huh? Yeah, it's like aggressive vegetable. I thought I loved vegetables, but this... Wow, this is kind of cool. Speaking of, oh my gosh, okay. I just heard this story from Tiffany, and this is fucking bad shit crazy. Are you ready for this? Imagine you're online dating. Now, this is like a normal thing in 2017. This is like when it all started. Let's call the guy Chris. Chris is online. He meets this girl named Yami. They're hitting it off. Is this well, like on the news or? Yeah, kind of. Because it's it's uh, it's such a regular, regular online dating story. It wasn't even supposed to be online dating. They actually met because Chris has this business where he sells used items online. So this girl, Yami, reaches out to him and is like, hey, can you verify this item? Can you verify this? Like, I want to buy this. Is this real? Is this fake? Blah, 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 right? So they start talking and don't get me wrong, Yemi is a beautiful girl. Like here's a picture of Yemi. She looks like a like an influencer, like a celebrity. She's beautiful. So Chris, even though he's supposed to be a professional businessman, kind of starts developing a little bit of chit-chatting with Yemi. So they start talking here and there and she starts opening up about her struggles in life. And she's like, listen, Chris, you don't even understand what it's like being me. My parents keep setting me up on blind dates. I hate it, I wanna run away from home. So that next month, Chris, which is like, save a hoe, that's his mindset. He's like, save a bitch, I'm gonna be Prince Charming. He rushes over to the city that Yemi lives in and he's like, I got you, I'm here for you babes, right? Mm -hmm. Well, turns out she can't come outside. Her parents were like, you don't wanna go blind dating? You wanna run away? No, think again, you're grounded. But instead, you know, she's like, hey, but maybe you can talk to my aunt because it's like a whole family ordeal. Maybe you can talk some sense into her and she can talk some sense into my family. It's like this whole thing. Anyway, he ends up meeting the aunt. Very nice, her name's Sherry, just like a regular aunt. She's kind of filling him in on the details. She doesn't agree that she should be locked in the house, but what can she do? She wants to help Yemi, but at the end of the day, she's not her parent, she's just an aunt. So her and Chris, they're vibing it out, like, yeah, what the heck, that's so messed up, blah, blah, blah. Now, he goes back to his hometown, working on his business. Then, they keep talking. Yemi and Chris be talking online. I think Yemi was probably trying to introduce Chris to her parents, but I just can't imagine that going well. So she's like holding it off. So they keep having this online relationship for like a year. Well, the next year, like a full year later in 2018, he goes back to the city that Yemi is in and is trying to visit her and is trying to see her. So he flies all the way over there. She still can't come out. Like this girl oh. is straight up Rapunzel at the top of the tower, just not able to see anybody. Like her parents are so strict, they're so wild. So he's confused, she's confused. They're both miserable, but they're in love. What do you do about that? He goes back to his hometown and he starts working on his business. And that is when Yemi says, hey, I think like we're trying to figure it out on my family's end. Maybe my aunt can go visit you and um, she just feels bad also and I'm gonna send some like food with her and stuff and I just, I feel bad that you came all the way over here and we couldn't even meet. So my aunt's gonna visit you in the city. So the aunt flies to where Chris lives and he's thinking, okay, this feels like a test. Maybe the aunt is gonna go back to Yami's parents and if she loves me, she's gonna say, hey, yeah, me parents, let me talk to you. Like, I am your family member, and I'm just telling you, this guy named Chris, I just met him, he's perfect for Yemi, like, you need to let them date, you need to stop holding her hostage, it's gonna be perfect. So he's taking this seriously. He even clears out one of the guest rooms in his house, he's like, don't stay at a hotel, stay with me, don't be crazy, you're the aunt of my girlfriend, Sherry, I love you, you're family. So she's staying in that room, they get to talk, and they start clicking, and, he starts dating her, I'm just kidding. They get to clicking and she ends up working for him on the online business. And not wow. only does she stay a day or a week, she stays for three freaking years. And there's, I mean, it's not like she was just 
staying because she didn't want to leave or she didn't have a place to go to. I think Chris kind of wanted her to stay because she was the connection to Yemi. So Yemi would get her phone taken away often and the aunt was able to call Yemi, whereas Chris can't. So then she would maybe, you know, be like, okay, well, Chris is gonna call you in like 10 minutes, right? And it was like this whole thing. And I don't know if there was some sort of like GPS tracking that the parents were trying to do. The aunt was telling Chris to go down into the parking lot. Don't talk to them in your apartment because it could be dangerous. So Chris is like, oh my God, this is, this is so much. I feel like I'm talking to like the daughter of the head of the CIA, like what is happening right now? But of course he loves Yemi, like she's just, the perfect girl for him. So he would go all the way down to the little parking lot, get in his car, like a little teenager, and whisper, talk to Yemi. Now, one day. <laughs> uh -oh. What do you think happened? Like, Yemi is maybe not that pretty, right? Maybe it's a fake picture. That's what I'm thinking. Well, one day. The aunt's phone breaks, and this is like kind of part of the story. The aunt's phone breaks, and Chris is like, oh, that's weird. Why don't you have a case to buy phone case? That's so strange to me. But you don't, so I guess we're just gonna, I'll go get it fixed for you, like don't even worry about it. So he takes the aunt's phone, takes it to the phone shop, and it's a cracked screen, and he realizes that there's no lock. Like she doesn't have a password on there. Of course, this guy's curious. I wonder what Sherry is talking to Yemi's parents about. Maybe they're talking about me, maybe they love me. So he starts going through her WeChat. But it's not really her WeChat, or is it? He doesn't know. You know, what, what do you think Aunt Sherry would have on her WeChat? Yami's parents, maybe some middle-aged women, maybe some middle-aged men, maybe her husband, right? No, no, she is talking to multiple young men. All of them young, all of them just multiple, just scrolling, scrolling, more men. So he clicks on some of them, and he starts reading the flirtatious text messages, and he said he felt a chill go down his spine because it sounded <laughs> so familiar. It sound the way Aunt Sherry was talking sounds like the way Yammy talks. <laughs> oh my god, it's a classic. This it's a, a classic! This is a classic online dating story that your parents warns you about. He finds out the whole time he was talking to Yammy's aunt. Yammy's not real! <laughs> he was talking to Sherry. Let me show you, like, what's going on. Here's a picture. <laughs> he was so shocked. He called the cops on her. And, you know, at this point, Chris had actually been sending Yami like tens of thousands of dollars in like the past three years. And the aunt was spending Dang. it all on herself. So, uh, the police did get involved, which is strange and bizarre. It went all over the news because this woman was doing it for her whole entertainment purposes. Like, that's all it was for, her mental entertainment. <laughs> and you know how the internet is because... Like when you first hear the story, you feel bad for Chris, like a little bit, right? And all the comments on all the articles, apparently, they were saying things like, Yeah, she was talking to multiple men, but she was only living with you. <laughs> and like trying to make him feel better. And this makes me so scared for Dan Dan. Meanwhile, what is one year old dog in human years? Oh my god, the dog is 15 years old. Because I feel what? like the minute that I heard that story, I don't know why I picture Chris as Dan Dan. Oh and we're god. all sitting there one day on this table going, <gasps> and he's like, yeah, not worth anymore. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my god. You know what? That's a lesson to us all. I'm just gonna mind my own business and garden. <laughs> I can't even garden. Yes. Yes, go girl, let's go. So, Grandpa actually called him this morning to say, hey, it's hot, go water the plants. Do I water this one? Wow. Okay, good. Wow, sorry, there's construction on the other side right now. Oh, let me go water the inside ones, no? Hello, cutie patooties. Let me give you some sprinkle sprinkles. Oh, should I do it onto the plant, or do I do it? Oh, now it's all up in the greenhouse. Okay, the desert rose. And just like that, I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day cleaning because this entire basement area is filled with loose screws inside of my head, but also loose screws all over the floor. There's pieces of that greenhouse. I need to attach the door. I need to make sure Grandpa comes and picks up the plants and help him load the truck and stuff. So it's gonna be a 
show. Why did we decide to do this? I have no idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed this greenhouse video. Hopefully in a couple of months, we will have some vegetables that are ready to harvest and it'll be cool enough to put all of them in there so I can actually have like a little garden. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I sound like a freaking idiot. I'm so sorry to those gardener enthusiasts out there. Listen, I just want to say one thing. I can only do two things in this world and that's drop my ass and drop my phone thanks to my case to my phone case. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>